So here we have the new ES3 machine from CarbonZap. Um, I can quickly talk you through uh, some of the features and controls. We have got two internal tanks, one for gasoline or the petrol, and the other one for diesel. Um, the controls are all touchpad, um, electronic controls, operating the pump speed. We've got left and right for changing settings, uh, an enter and a stop. We've got a pressure gauge up here so we can monitor the pressures that we're using on the fuel system cleaning uh, side. And a nice little feature on this machine is this lever. We can change this from the internal tanks of the machine to what's called the E-tank, which is the external tank. This allows us to use an external cleaning fluid specifically for DPF cleaning. Just remember that this machine is a fuel system cleaner, intake manifold cleaner, and a DPF cleaner all in one. Okay, the ES3 machine is totally standalone. As you can see, we have it connected now to the vehicle's battery. And as you can see, the display is now lit. We've got two pipes here that we're gonna to connect to the vehicle. We've got a red band on this one that denotes high pressure. This one's the return. This particular vehicle has no return. So we're gonna make this pipe redundant and just use the pressure pipe instead of the vehicle's fuel supply. The ES3 machine comes with a really comprehensive uh, adapter kit. One of these uh, we're now going to use to connect to the vehicle, and that will allow us then to connect our red pressure pipe directly to the fuel rail. We now have the vehicle fuel supply disconnected, and we have attached an adapter from the ES3 kit to enable us to connect the ES3 to the fuel rail. It's really important to stress that once we have got the vehicle fuel supply disconnected, we are now running the vehicle on the ES3 supply. So this one needs isolating, either by removing the relay, a fuse, disconnecting the fuel pump, but we must stop this from working. Okay, with the ES3 machine now all connected, we can um, make some adjustments on the control panel and start the process. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is basically set up the time and the fuel pressure that this um, process is going to run at. We do this by the enter and stop buttons, just here. Okay, pressing the enter button initially, we can choose between normal, DPF or inlet manifold clean. This particular process we're going to run normal because it's a fuel system clean, so we're going to enter. Again, we get the option of auto or manual. Again, we're going to go for manual. Next, the next menu screen shows gasoline and diesel. We can easily change these by that button there. As we can see, we've, we've got gasoline highlighted and, and that's confirmed with the LED next to gasoline. So we can enter that. The next screen shows us the amount of time the process is going to run for and the pressure that the pump is set at or the percentage that the um, pump is set at. If we enter there, we can see that the machine starts and the pressure gauge is now showing us what the fuel pressure is on the vehicle. You will need to know what your fuel pressure is on the vehicle. You can obtain that information from technical data. This specific vehicle runs at three bars and that equates to 26% of, uh, of the pumping speed. So we can then press enter. As you can see that the process is, is running from 30 minutes, we're, we're counting down now. This, uh, allows us now to start the vehicle which will run on this uh, on this machine and that's it really once the ES3 treatment is complete it is simply a, a question of reconnecting the pipework